Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm Jeanette. In this video I thought I'm gonna practice lettering using these kind of brush pens that have those long thin nibs that are actually kind of difficult to control. And yeah, I thought I'll practice a little bit and if you want you can practice with me. I'm gonna finish this right now. It's actually quite what I can't talk. It's kind of difficult to speak and letter at the same time and I feel like I'm gonna mess up and write something wrong. Or spell something wrong. I have the Sakura Pigma brush. Is this Sakura? I think so, yeah. Then I have the Pantel Sign Pan, which also has a really thin and also a really flexible nib, as you can see here. Then I have, this is a store brand, <laughs> to be honest, but Pantel has um, those as well. I got one of those. For practice, I also have the Sakura coloring brush pants and also for the bigger ones for those two ones I have the eco oops that was loud I have the eco line brush pen but I'll come to that later I first try using those um by themselves and then adding those to the mix but you'll see what I mean by that I know I'm not gonna change the paper because I want to fill this because why should I just write one sentence and then get another one I mean, I already practiced with this one a little bit, but I'm gonna practice a little bit more. Why I wanna practice with these is because I don't really like my lettering style when I use those kind of pens. But I think I still feel the most comfortable with this one and the least comfortable with this one. It's, I think, the Novo Aqua Flow. This is quiet. Large. And the key here, of course, is also to be slow and don't rush it. But I don't know, I don't really like my style with these. Oh, well, this is really on the top right now. And yeah, the E and the L, I don't like those. What I want to do instead, I'm going to use one of those normal brush pens and I'm just going to let her work with these, like brush. Now I'm going to do what you would do as a beginner, kind of using a worksheet, but I'm not using a worksheet because I have lettered myself. And I do like my lettering style more when I use those normal brush pens, but not as much with those brush pens. So I'm going to try just tracing it. And of course you need, oops, I messed up here, a brush pan that is about the same size that it fits because this wouldn't fit over this one. I think it might be still a little bit too small. Or maybe not. A lot of space. First let this try because otherwise I will get kind of like a watercolor effect, which I don't want right now. Actually, I want to come back to this one in a second too, because I actually like that you don't cover all of those colors so you can still see, or maybe not, the color underneath it. And I also got a highlighter, and not a highlighter, that's a white gel pen. I want to show you something in a bit. I'm going to finish this first, but having kind of like a guide does help in my opinion. So if you struggle with how your lettering looks, just use worksheets or 
if you have a better lettering server than a brush pen that is a similar size, then just try writing it down with the other brush pen and tracing it. I'm gonna write down ABC with the brush pens here. A, whoops, B, and C. Now I'm gonna show you what I meant earlier. So now I'm gonna add a highlight to my and as you might see I don't know why this happens but the highlight actually it's not completely white but it's not like a grayish highlight it got the color or a light hint of the color underneath the black and I don't know how this happens if you know, let me know in the comments, because, I don't know, does it just take off kind of like the black pigment of the upper layer? I don't know. And I do kind of like this effect because you can see the color underneath because I didn't cover it completely. And I kind of like this because it's kind of like a shadow. I think this might be a cool uh, lettering style. Okay, and now I did flip it because I do want to practice a little bit more with this brush pen. Uh, this is, in my opinion, the most tricky to use. Oh, not too bad. But I think I'm gonna practice a little bit more with this one. Sometimes the speed is also the key. So just slow down. It's not too bad. But I'm still not entirely happy. Okay, I don't like the switch from there to so this might be also helpful to figure out what strokes you're not good at or which are still tricky for you and just try practicing those and if i go not too hard on this so if i'm not adding too much pressure it does work i don't know I try a really big A because with this you can go really big. Okay, I have less trouble using this brush pen than this one. By the way, do you have like a favorite brush pen which is the easiest for you to use? We say like This kind of brush pen is, or this brush pen is way easier to use than the others, or this brush pen is the most difficult to use. So do you have a brush pen that you prefer using over others? Uh, if so, let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's actually already it for this video. Thanks for watching. And if you want, you can also check out some other videos. I might also link some in the description or you check the videos that um, you will see here in the end card. And I hope I see you in some other videos. Bye! By the way, I realized that the Sakura Pigma brush pen isn't as flexible as I thought it is.